What's up, Green Status? All right, where we last left off, you see me put up all the wiring for the gutter. Now, I'm gonna build the downspout that will pour the water from the roof and our gutter here onto the roof of the cistern. And then hopefully we'll get to do some cementing. Rains are so close. We need to be able to catch that. And to do that, I need to be able to get the water from this roof into the cistern. Let's get it done. Dang, I got these boards sitting out here for a few minutes already. I got bird duke on it. Respect the boards, birds. So first up, I'm gonna put a couple holes in uh, the ends of each of these boards. All right, so all that work I did putting this up, I wanna remove some of this wiring so I can get these boards in. All right. Need more tools. If only I could call the tools to my hand like the mighty Thor. Me on there! Ha! Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! That's more like it. For so whoever is worthy shall wield the power of Thor. I want the water to hit right here, right on the edge. I want most of the water to come down this way toward the gutter, but I want some of it to spread out on this roof. The majority of water is gonna come from this roof, but we're also gonna get water from the roof of the cistern. So I kinda wanna spread it out a little bit. So I'm gonna fold this completely in half. A little bit different than I've been doing the gutters, and I'm just gonna see how it looks. Let me throw some staples in here just to keep it secure. But I actually kind of like the way it's looking. Crew, you staying cool? You're right in front of the cooler, aren't you? <laughs> oh, stay cool. Stay cool. You've seen that I had completed the downspout over here for our roof. That's in place, looking good. Today, it's all about the cement. Now, I'm a little nervous because this is my first time trying to apply the ferro cement in this manner. Wish me luck. Hopefully, I don't make too big of a mess. <laughs> I, got a, I got a lot to do and a very short amount of time to do it. I gotta get it done this weekend because the rains are coming. The rains might be coming next week. I gotta get this done. Let's do it. All right, well, I'm excited. We're about to finish off these gutters with a technique known as ferro cement. So this technique was really invented in 1840. And it's been used throughout the years for various types of builds. Boats, water tanks. The possibilities of this technique are really limited only by your imagination. So ferro cement, really just a combination of one part cement to three or four parts sand, plus the addition of your wire mesh. With all those things combined, that's what gives ferro cement its lightweight strength. And its ability to mold really into any shape. Definitely more difficult than it seems. As soon as I apply a little pressure on this thing, everything's just followed fall through. So what I've been doing here is just a little suggestion from Jessica. We're just trying something out. So I'm taking these down again, just unfolding them, putting some cloth in there. And what this has been doing is allowing us to make a thinner coat of the ferro cement on the inside, and plus less waste, not as much falling through. That's been more efficient, and it's been going a lot faster. Here's what it's all about, isn't it? Working together as a team, getting it done. You see on monsoon seasons, usually we're looking all around us, clouds everywhere. We could see rain everywhere around us and then we don't get anything. 
But now since we're working on gutters, working on our rainwater harvesting system and redoing everything, it's all clouds right, literally right over our heads. Whoop, there it is. We're getting that rain. We're getting that rain. We're getting more rain. Unbelievable. Whose idea was it to redo the gutters? Jess, whose idea was that? I'm gonna blame her. It's really coming down. I thought it was gonna be a few sprinkles, but it's really starting to come down. We got actually part of a gutter up. Uh, let's see if we can catch any rain on it. Woo! That came down fast and furious. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Just like it came in, it just stopped. Look at all this water, all this water. We gotta get it done, we gotta get it done. We'll get it done, we'll get it done soon, soon, quick. Time to get back to doing these gutters. We're missing some rain, we can't let that happen. We gotta start catching it. We're making some really good progress. Jess and I have been out here working on it. I know there are better materials for gutters than ferro cement. I was thinking about PVC, but PVC is definitely not gonna last. Ferro cement has unique properties though. I mean, they use it for boats, they use it for water tanks. I figure, why not gutters? Yeah, there's a chance that this might not work out the way we want it to. I really wanted to give it a shot though. I think it has a really good chance. And I'm excited to see how it turns out. Seamless metal gutters are probably the best you can get out there. The issue with uh, seamless gutters, at least on our part, is that you know not everyone might be able to just pick up a phone, make a call, and get people out there to put seamless gutters in. That's the whole point of trying to get out there and trying to experiment and trying new techniques. You know, what'll work besides making that phone call and getting someone else out here to build something for you? That's why I wanted to give this a shot. And we're done. Just before sunset too. At least we're at a point where we could collect some water now. So that's exciting. So these gutters are definitely usable right now. They're definitely not pretty. Right now there's a lot of exposed fabric. So we're just kind of going to go over the outside of that with a thin layer of the cement. And I think these gutters will look a lot sharper than they do right now. Uh, I honestly didn't think it would quite take me that long to do these gutters but definitely took a little time i'm excited to see how this turns out yeah i don't know if it's going to be perfect i think it's a nice in between between something like metal and something like plastic i think this has a lot of potential and i can't wait to see where it goes man so many exciting things are coming down the line you definitely want to stick around for that and the house build should be coming up real soon now